Impossible. It must be a dream. Only if you believe it is. <sighs> Nothing was ever accomplished with tears. Absalom, what are you doing? I have come to the end of this life. You're going to die. I'm transforming. Just like you, Alice. You know who I am now. I always knew who you were going to be, stupid girl. But now you are. You were just as dim-witted the last time you came here. You called it Wonderland, as I recall. I remember. It isn't a dream. This is real. You're real. And Hatter's real. And I'm... Alice, at last. You have the arm, and you have a sword. The Jabberwocky is waiting, just through those trees. Good luck. Perhaps I'll see you in another life. Day, the queens, red and white, shall contrarywise, the white and red queens shall send forth their champions into battle. We don't have to fight, sister. I know what you're doing. You think you can blink those pretty little eyes, and I'll melt like Mummy and Daddy did. Just give me the crown, Erasabeth. Where's your champion, little sister? I can't. Contrarywise, you can't not. No how. It's the Fratchest Day. That's me your day. But exactly how am I supposed to beat that? You'll need to move closer, of course. Meet the monster face to face. What about up there? All right, I'll do it. I've come this far. The only thing is, dear Alice, we can't go with you. Fighting the Jabberwocky, that's your destiny and yours alone. But we can help them, can't we, Hatter? If we can, we will. Absolutely. I'm ready.
And of course, ladies and gentlemen, in classic Alice in Wonderland fashion, we are not able to actually participate in this fight in the form of the titular hero, Alice herself. Instead, we're going to be helping from afar, and this is a really convoluted boss fight that you will probably die a couple times to because of this guy right here. So he does four damage, and what you want to do is attack him, and then avoid his attack which is really hard and then you want to jump up here and basically help Alice with whatever she is while the Jabberwocky is unavailable so by doing this we're able to help her get to the next pillar and thusly continue the fight So for this next phase, you want to be a little bit careful also because, um, well, obviously you can see how much time you have in doing this phase of the fight by the amount of pillar she has left. And what I'm trying to do is send this off, but depending on your angle, it's really bad. I don't know how to hit the Jabberwocky without taking damage. I do not know how to do it. But maybe if we do like a long range attack. Um, you want to make sure you're not up there though while you're attacking him. Because if you do, he'll snap at you and he won't get crushed by these columns. Do I just do this again? Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't attack him normally. Okay. All right. There we go. I just figured it out. I haven't played this game in a minute, so I don't remember everything, but it's probably for the best. So we have to rebuild this, and uh, I think at this point we actually move on to a different portion of the stage, maybe. So we'll hop up here, and I guess maybe we'll do something with these, right? Ugh, go! No, that's not... Oh, here we go. Alright, so we make this for us, and now we keep going, or I guess we're doing this part again. There we go. Drop down, though, because we want to be down here when he attacks. Go, go! There we go. Okay. Any minute now, mama. Try this. Okay, I guess we just do it three times. There we go. Okay, so we save her with the hair now. And B. Up. Oh, there we go. Alright, one more time. You can do it. And there we go. Run, Alice. Run. for quite possibly the most convoluted part of the entire fight is we need to head over here and jump across and uh, figure out how to use Hatter in order to win this fight. So we'll climb up here and what we need to do is actually lift this up and then quickly switch on over to Cheshire to make these appear. So there we go. Land those on there. Now we'll take this and I guess destroy that for something? I guess maybe that's for help. And eventually we're supposed to use Hatter in order to put the final, you know, pin in this fight. But we're gonna do the same thing right over here. If, if this stupid diagonal thing decides it wants to work. And uh, we'll actually have to get rid of these pillars. So, right here. So stop him and then run, switch to Hatter. 
And this is for Alice. This is for the finishing blow. of Crims, for your crimes against Underland, you are banished to the Outlands. No one is to show you any kindness or ever speak a word to you. You will not have a friend in the world. Majesty, I hope you will bear me no ill will. Except this one. He'll join you in banishment from now until the end of Underland. At least we have each other. Now's the time for your futter whacken, Hatter. Futter what? Futter whacken. It's a dance. I promised I would only dance again on the day the Red Queen is finally trounced. Butterwacken with me! But I don't know how. Drink this. More potion? What is it this time? Fattenwacker potion, of course. I feel quite curious. Fefarinas, thank you for everything. You have our everlasting gratitude, Alice. Alice, where are you? My proposal! I demand an answer! I can't marry Hamish. He's not right for me. And besides, there are too many crazy, mad, wonderful, completely impossible things I still have to do. Goodbye, Absalom. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed Alice in Wonderland 2010, based off of Tim Burton's film of the same name. Uh, I did some... Okay, so that fight was kind of ridiculous, right? But what is even more ridiculous is the fact that I just looked this up during that cutscene. I did not care to watch it. The voice cast. Actors who reprise the roles from the film include Mia Wasikowska, who is Alice, uh, Crispin Glover, the Knave of Hearts, Michael Sheen as McTwisp, the White Rabbit, Barbara Windsor as Maliumkum, Stephen Fry as Cheshire Cat, and then Leo Bill as Hamish, the guy who she shut down because he's just like some white asshole who wanted to marry her. That is incredible. I knew for a fact Johnny Depp and uh, Alan Rickman had nothing to do with this, but that is absolutely insane that all of these people decided to put those performances in this game. The best one, by far, I would say, is probably McTwisp. He had the most realistic, I think, voice for 
any of them. Uh, I do not believe for a second that is the performance that Crispin Glover <laughs> wants to leave his legacy with, but um, I guess it is what it is. That was the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. We just finished 100%ing it. This finale is going to be a short one, but there really is nothing beyond here that I feel is worth showing, to be completely honest. So I think I will leave it as a relatively short video, as opposed to like filling it out with fluff and filler but we've already reached the end of the credits and they don't even show Johnny Depp's insanity jumping around dancing like they did at the end of the movie that's literally the only part of the film that I remember and I'm a little curious to watch it again because when I saw it when it came out I guess what 10 years ago um, <laughs> sound effects <laughs> um, I, I didn't think it was the worst thing in the world. I was I was okay with it. I was fine. But uh, this game, if it's going to bring me back to it, I don't know what to tell you. I still think it's wild that six years later they made a second movie. Like Through the Looking Glass. And I, I haven't seen it, even though it has Sasha Baron Cohen in it. That's time. But I don't really have any. <laughs> no will to watch it whatsoever. Oh, another voice actor that I thought did really well for the part aside from McTwist was probably the Red Queen. She actually had the like Helena Bonham Carter enunciation down to a T. Like I was almost expecting to see her name on the list of reprising voice actors, at least from the movie, but no, uh, kudos for her. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If we try to leave the credits, we have defeated the Red Queen and her Jabbywocky. We have fulfilled all achievements. Underland holds no more secrets for you. <laughs>